How's it going everybody? Mike Elf coming to you from the studio. On today's video, we are going to be going through OpenAI and Dolly 2. If you haven't already, smash the like button, subscribe, share, leave a comment, tell your friends, find me on Twitter. I wanted to show you guys just how fun it is to make AI art and to really get into the nitty gritty of taking an output and creating a piece around. Today we're going to be getting into a little bit of a renaissance oil painting output and I want to build a little stuff and I want to get into outpainting and editing an output to create a bigger piece and to mold and form that piece into something that you are proud of and you can share and you may even be able to call yourself an artist. All right, here we are, here we are in Dali, Dali 2. As we're looking at here, you can see here, we um, are looking at this hooded figure uh, that's an oil painting, etc. cetera. Um, basically, in your history, which you'll see up here, if you click on that, you're gonna be brought to a page where you have a ton of outputs that you've made. Once you've clicked on one of those, it'll, you can click on it and look for edit. Edit will bring you here. Now you can also get there by clicking to this, to this uh, screen of editing by clicking here and going to out painting. That'll bring you to a blank slate and then you can input any image there and paint around it. Otherworldly, dark figure, black robe, hidden face, oil painting in the style of Francis Bacon. Not bad, right? I like this image a lot. I like how it looks. I want to expand on it. I want to make it a bigger painting. Um, I want it to be maybe portrait uh, shape or landscape. I don't like the square. I want to see maybe we can get a little bit more of, um, of a hooded figure. Maybe put some things around him, right? So how do we do that? This is the editor. You basically have select, pan, right? So you can move around. Also, if you have a track screen, right, you can do that. Um, this is the eraser, which you can use for owl paintings. So you can erase some stuff and then we would, you know, uh, put the generation screen over that, okay? The generation frame being this. So basically, right, we're going to paint around this with this tool here. And then you can also upload an image um, into this to paint around as well. So we're gonna be using this. We might be using the eraser a little bit too. What I wanna do first is I wanna start by elongating the image. Now, Dali suggests that you keep the prompt that gave you the original image to paint around it. I've found that that works 50% of the time. Now, because it's somewhat the same picture, I'm gonna keep the prompt and I just wanna see sort of what Dolly gives us uh, by keeping otherworldly dark figure, black robe, hidden face, oil painting in the cell, Francis Bacon, but I may uh, have to get rid of the hidden face aspect and maybe keep the robe with a little more of uh, descriptions, right? So let's see what we get out of that. So no, <laughs> no, uh, maybe, interesting. And okay, I like it, but I don't like it, all right? So I kind of like this, but I really actually don't, and I want to try something. So we're gonna go with otherworldly dark figure, black robe. We're gonna get rid of hidden face. We're actually gonna write photorealistic oil painting in style of Francis Bacon. Yep, no, no. Mm, uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for right there, right? Okay, so we're looking for um, the robe. I, I, you know, I didn't really want much else there except for just more of the black flowy robe. Dolly nailed it, good job. Here's where things can get a little interesting. Now, I can choose to sort of go, we're gonna accept that. I can choose to go to the side here a little bit, or I can see if we can get just a little bit more of the floor aspect, uh, potentially even shoes or something like that to get the full, um, full length character. Okay, so what I've noticed with Dolly is that it tends to be, you know, you get, sometimes you get a couple uh, interesting ones out of the four when you're doing a, a out painting. 
Um, you know, and one is like a, a guaranteed throwaway. But I will say that in general, I kind of like all of these. So we're gonna go with that. Now, let's get into a little bit of a racer tool, right? Because as much as I like the candles, I'm not sure I like, I like that candle. I'm not sure I like this. So let's just, for the heck of it, see if we can't get a little something, right? And then go back to that generation frame. And as you can see here, then we get just in that area that we erased some new options. Go here, we can do go otherworldly dark figure, black robe, ornate decorations, photorealistic oil painting style, appearances, bacon. What should we put next to this person? Why don't we put a candelabra? Wow, Dolly. Ooh, that was gonna be tough. Bang, accept it. All right, let's see if we can get it to the floor. So we're going to go here that. All right, so I don't want another candle. I want the rest of, oh, interesting. Okay, exactly. Thank you, Dolly. You are reading my mind. So we got a table. Oh. Interesting. A table with a hand. I gotta go with this. We got the bottle of liquor on the table. This guy is having himself an evening. And we got the continuation of the candelabra sitting on the table. So with that being said, I like Dali to complete this frame. I'm good on clocks, mm, maybe. Mm, I don't know what that is, some sort of bloody croissant. Do this. Cause I don't mind the bottle of whiskey on the table. I know it's not whiskey, but I don't know what it is. Great, so we got a bloody heart there with some aortas on a table. There's a bottle of wine, but oh, okay, that could work. That's what I'm looking for. I needed some depth. Thank you, Dolly, for giving me the depth I was looking for. Where do I wanna go? I want to go, I wanna go behind this character. I want this to go this way. So we're gonna go out to here. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's, as you can see, it can get a little pricey, right? We're starting to, you know, use up these credits every time you, you know, you, you bang out one of these uh, generations, right? It's uh, whatever, $15 divided by 115, if it was, you know, it's like, you're looking at like, you know, by the end of this, right? We've probably done 20 or 25, you know, generations, and it could be a dollar or two to, to get this, um, what you're looking for, especially when Dolly, give you what it is you're looking for. Sometimes less is more. Yeah, no, oh boy. Interesting. All right, let's finish this painting off. Let's come to here, we'll go like this, bang. Hey, a guy in a suit sitting in the corner, I don't think so. That's good, oh, it's in the opposite direction. I don't love any of these. I guess we could. Yeah, you know, I don't mind it. Let's see what we can, let's finish it off. This is more Dolly. Boom, I don't know what that thing is there. What is that? Hanger? Artifact? You know what, it works for me. Done? There you have it, folks. This painting is finished. We took the initial output and built some stuff around it. And we got this hooded, dark, otherworldly figure uh, in the style of Francis Bacon um, into a room with a candelabra and a bottle of wine and something hanging off the table and a couple shadowy, ghosty figures looking through the window um, at this creature from behind, at this person from behind. And uh, as you can see there, you know, all it took was a little bit of uh, erasing and, and building around it and out painting, right? This feature on Dolly will bring your outputs to the next level. It will create a scene around what you make. And really when Dolly gives you gold, which happens often uh, with, a, with an output of the four generations and you see something you really like, it really gives you the opportunity to build around that. 
and create something pretty beautiful. If you ask me, uh, you know, this is something that I'm proud to have made. If you haven't already, please check me out on Twitter at the Mike Elf, as well as channel JPEG on YouTube, as well as Spotify. Check out my partner, Haymaker Studio on Twitter as well. We also have an Instagram account, the Mike Elf, where I post all of the art that I'm making. Uh, mostly raw AI stuff as well as some Procreate collage, digital collage, etc. And if again, if you haven't, please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, share this comment. I will reach out to anyone who comments and we can have a conversation. Check me out on Twitter, etc. And have a great day. I appreciate you. See you next time.